Right, hello everybody, and welcome to another video on the channel. Now today, we are going to be playing some 60 Parasects. Now this is my second time trying to record this, but it's actually the first episode, because the first time I tried to do it, uh, the recording got a bit weird, and for some reason now, uh, the videos of my editor on the PS, because uh, I'm using PS4, that share factory thing on the PS, uh, I don't have any end of the editor, because I haven't got a laptop or anything else to record it on, uh, so I kind of have to use this, uh, the thing, and it only allows you up to an hour on recording, so I kind of an hour, otherwise I'll have to put it into like a separate episode, uh, and it kind of sort of got messed up, and you know, I couldn't do it, so we're going to be playing this again, uh, and basically, yeah, I think I'm playing as Emmett for this, uh, he's pretty intelligent, so um, so yeah, let's get into here, and let's play some 60 Parasects, I think this is a, uh, was a sequel to 60 Seconds, a game uh, made quite a while back actually, I think, uh, and it was basically the same premise as this except it's a, you know, I think it was a nuclear uh, bomb instead of, I don't know, whatever this is, so this is one that's just set in space instead of, you know, on Earth. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I think this is going to be fun. We got now. So we got 60 seconds to grab whatever, and I want to check. I want to find who is a specific person because each person has different traits. I want to find this one specific person because she's really good. She's not over here. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna have to get back quickly. Okay, good. There you go. Perfect. Where is she? in here somewhere? Yeah, she's in here. Okay. That woman there, because I want intelligence on my side. She's meant to be quite intelligent. Um, so I think I'll really sort of uh, be good in my endeavour. I'll grab some more soup though first, because soup is everything in this game. Soup is amazing. Let's go out here. Into here. Grab you. Thank you. She's only worth she's only got two. Okay, that's good. That's good. Got that. Got plenty of time, I'm sure. Get up to the stupid. Get it. Uh, quickly, 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 quickly. I'm told. Fine. Grab anything you can. Quickly. Okay. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing else. Nothing else. Oh, there's an idol. Ah, I'd be fine. No, I don't need it. Okay, we're here. We're good. Okay. Ooh, that's always the stressful part, that is, but it's over now, which is good. Okay, so now we have to survive uh, out in space here. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think what we're going to do for this episode as well, is I'm going to split it into two, because this takes about an hour and a half, maybe, each playthrough, and I can over only have up to an hour, which is really stupid. I need to get a new editor somehow, but, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'll probably put this into two episodes. I'll probably do like tw day day one to day twenty, and then day twenty to the end, or whatever that is. So I I used to have Dee Dee, who is uh, another person on the ship, as my kind of sort of me and them. But I feel like she's really intelligent, so I think she will be better because also I'm intelligent. So I think this is going to be good. Yeah. Okay. Starlog. What have we got here now? Make for the uh, find an appropriate landing spot. Okay. Hey, hey, A S T R O, computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I'm pleased to announce that due to your actions during the escape, you are the perfect candidate to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard to the escape shuttle, Captain. Thank you very much. I am honoured. On behalf of the Astro Citizen program, please accept our apologies for the small inconvenience of being transported 60 parasecs away from Earth. How long is a parasec? I don't know. What's a par what, what is a parasec? I assume that's a long, because 60 seconds is not a long time. But parasec, I assume that's a long time, you know. Current goal, find a safe place to land, then try to contact the outside world. Well, there isn't any outside world, is there? I thought it was just us. Anyways. Good news, Captain. The shuttle can be restocked with an uh, emergency food, su food supply. Use it well. Oh, yeah, we get an extra two cans. That's amazing, that is. Please activate the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rational ra rationing protocol and feed your crewmates. Good luck. You are going to need it, Captain. Okay, that is good. So what have we got here? How much soup do we have, actually? That's what I want to know. 
Can I see from here or? Ah, oh, here we go. 11 soup. That's pretty good, that is. I think that's pretty good. Oh, well, let me exit. Ah, oh, there we go. Main computer, gonna make a decision. Captain, since you have just taken command, the protocol dictates a speech must be given. A good one. Scratch that. A great one. Your fellow Astro Citizen, just, just one Astro Citizen because he's not all of us, depends on you to make the right decisions and to give a great speech. This is it. You can well, you can re re really, sorry, not rely. I can't speak well. I'm not good at reading, by the way, guys. Not good at reading out loud. So I'm sorry if I make a lot of mistakes in this. You can really show your your breed of captain. Uh, you will will you be what? You can really show what breed of captain will you be? What? That doesn't make sense. What breed of captain will you be? That's not be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you make? Uh, I'll make a intelligence check because I'm a brilliant captain. Uh, okay. Yep, that's what I can do for today. End of day. And boop. Perfect. Day two. A clever speech sounded like a great idea. Of course, that only works if the one who gives it his, well, witty enough. Your tongue suddenly stopped working and all you could utter was, All hail the reptilians. Are you serious? Your fellow crewmate was far from convinced. He was certain that it was needed to be much. Words made a mark, but probably not the one you wanted. To cheer, oh no, hold on. To cheer you up a bit, where is it? Cheer you up a little bit from this fas fiasco. I allowed allowed myself to power up the enzyme generator in the back of the shuttle. It will produce some useful chemicals for you daily. Oh, that's very handy. That is, Captain. The crafting module in the back of the cabin is now available. You might remember this from your Astro Citizen training. I don't. I I didn't take any training. But there you go. This modern machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. That is good. Let's have a look see here now. I've got 31 chemicals and 30 battery. Now, the chemicals can make soup, which is amazing, and sock puppets, but, you know, whatever. Uh, upgrades, well, can we upgrade now? Uh, the system actually will be very handy to upgrade. This handbook, though, is really good as well, so I don't know if I want to... I'll upgrade the crafting module because I feel like that will be the most useful. Yes. Main computer. Captain, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is that that is that using the airlock as the space toilet was a success. It is now packed full and ready to be emptied into space. The bad news is that the airlock hatch is jammed. If you don't fix it soon, our clogged toilet will quickly become an extinction level event. Wait, what? Hold on. An extinction level? Oh, because it's only us two left in the humans, yeah. It's now or never, Captain. How will you save the human race? Oh, um, I didn't, I don't have duct tape, I'm sorry. I can't I can't do anything. Oh, are we going to die from this? We'd better not die from this. Please tell me we're not going to die from this. That would be quite funny, though. Okay, well, we didn't die. Doing nothing about the air, uh, airlock toilet was risky, Captain. Luckily for you, the door unjammed it on its own. Eventually, probably because the odour build-up made it corrosive. Too bad about all that health hazards it caused. But then again, it's a 100% human problem, which makes it 100% yours and exactly 0% mine. That is horrible, that is. Space travel can be dull, but there's thing, there's still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me, I live in a computer. Let's design a game. A computer game? No, of course not. Your game will need a core mechanic, which could revolve around an item. Get creative. What kind of game will you design? One around a lighter, because I can't do anything else. I hope it doesn't break the lighter, because that's going to be frustrating. I swear if it breaks the lighter now. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. You designed your game around the lighter. The core mechanics of your game was chase Megan around the shuttle. If the person you were chasing got burnt, they owed you 10 push-ups. You played until you realised how much the fire made you, you miss Earth. At least you could camp there. Remember camping? You and your crewmate sat next to the lighter, thinking about roasting marshmallows. Upgrade complete crafting module level 2. Perfect. 
What else are we going to make then? Well, we can't make much else. What I know you can do is recycle. And what I did last time was, because it gives you... For example, if I recycle strip, it gives you 10 rock and 5 power. But if you craft it, it costs 10 things. So, if I do this, craft soup. Uh, cat that's so good. The wind cat can you hear me, Captain? R, you say. Uh, R, you say R. What's that R? What, how are you supposed to R, R? I don't know. In these situations, right? I hate ch uh, raising my volume, but that malfunction body odor removal filter is making a racket. I think it's malfunctioning. Uh, use the handbook. That is the best. I can use a can of soup. For what? That, okay, well, use the handbook. And... Yep, okay. Wait, hold on. Are we all starving yet, or...? Yep, you're all fine. Good. Let's go. Day five, and we're not even starving. I don't know how you can survive like this. I'd gone mad. You fix the body over the removal filter by con consulting the troubling section of the handbook and following the directions there. Not everyone loves troubleshooting sections, Captain, but I do. Everyone on board could think clearer without that constant din droning. Uh, da -da -da. Soup. Lovely. That's what I want. But now, if I get rid of the soup... So I made a soup. I get rid of the soup. I get five materials. The shuttle lacks the EM shielding found on larger vessels. Put simply, it was never meant for long-term space travel. Well then, why was this the emergency skate pod in case everything blew up? Why would we use it? Ah, oh, whatever. There is some inherent risks, namely to your skin. Oh, that's not good. Remember how you, how your mum always told you to wear sunscreen at the beach? You're way more likely to get a sunburn out here, where there's no atmosphere to protect you. Will you? Will you please, please, please put on some sunscreen on? Uh, okay, fine. I'll put some sunscreen on. What's the worst could happen? There we go. You put on sunscreen to avoid the exposure to the harsh ele electromagnetic rays flying uh, want only through the vacuum of space. Sure, it feels like the, sl the slathering on your skin with a warm mayonnaise. Ugh. But, but do you? But you do. But you understand now that all those nagging grown-ups in your childhood were only trying to help. Putting on sunscreen uh, afforded you such peace of mind. You decided to make another batch. You mixed zinc oxide with some other minerals and poof, sunscreen. No more burns, no more tears. Okay, maybe more tears, but at least they won't. But uh, they won't because of your uh, lo uh, your lobster skin. Oh, I love that. I just got 25 chemicals. What happened to the my med kits? Okay, good. I just got 25 chemicals from nothing. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Recycling objects, lovely. That's what I want. And okay, crafting, recycle. I minus the soup, didn't I? So I'll craft the idol. Yes, and then I'll recycle it, get back my chemicals, and we'll have uh, the original chemicals we had, but then we'll have plus 10 power. So basically, every few days we can get an extra five. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll get an extra 10 power. And they'll, yeah, stay the same. We found a small metal box in one of the compartments labelled to cert do open. You uh, you could take apart the lock and gather some elements from it, ignoring what's inside, or you could try to open it, uh, which would require deft fingers. What would it be? I'll have this. Because I haven't got good agility, I've got better things, so I'd rather not risk it. Okay, let's go. A week and we still haven't eaten food yet. You carefully dismantled the lock on the box we found in the shuttle. The box being useless now, it uh, turned your attention to the parts of the dismantled lock. The parts weren't useful as we hoped, but the lock was powered by a battery which uh, separated without a hitch. Oh yeah, you got a battery. That's lovely. Crafting completed. Got an idol. Lovely. What are you? You're hungry. 
and you're hungry. Okay, I think they've got the same hunger thing because they don't eat much, which is amazing. It's been a week and they're only hungry. Uh, recycle the idle artifact. Sorry, I keep on calling it an idol. It's not an idol, it's an artifact. Your attention is required, Captain. The most abnormal. Uh, we registered an unknown transmission, but I cannot identify who is sending them and more importantly what they contain it might be a solar flare interface or worse a new type of soviet encryption a soviet encrypt aren't they dead the soviets like the, no one survived didn't they all right whatever we need to de uh, decipher sorry these signals as soon as possible for all we know our survival depends on it who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these things all right okay so we've got flexible brilliant and wimpy flexible clever and average right okay so she's Less clever by a point than Ellis. I love him. Because he is more clever, which is probably what we need. And then... We're not hung, we're not starving yet, which is good. Okay, so I think the food front's going to be good. Now all we're going to have to worry about really is the items. Because, yeah, okay. First contact. Yay! We got contact, have we? Captain, you need to see this, and I'm not easily excited. Uh, but this is one of the greatest moments for human and human-made AI alike. We are not alone This is uh, th in this universe. The signals we interpreted were finally decrypted. There are alien transmissions, as in coming from, an from other life forms. And no, I, don't, I do not mean reds. Oh, for, you know, other life forms. Oh, yeah, okay, I told you they're dead, aren't they? It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume that, they are, that we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Scroll down a bit. Our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. You did a, you did a splendid job, Captain. The electromagnetic interferences... Yep, yeah, I can't read that word. I'm not good at reading, as I said that you traced point to what seemed to be a potential landing spot in our flight path. Our ETA to the celestial body, or whatever it might be, is T-3. Still feel hungry, Captain. Alright, okay, so I got... Mine's the idol, I got there. Okay, cool. Uh, 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 uh. I really want to upgrade this actually, but I don't think I'll. No, I won't be able to do that to ages. I think I'm going to upgrade this book. Because it is really handy. But for now, I will go back to doing this. What's that you're drawing, Captain? Is that supposed to be ham? Understand, you, I understand that you're fed up with soup and you're, remis you're reminiscing about Earth food. I would advise you don't go down that road. What do you mean? you're fed up with soup. We haven't eaten yet at all. Like, we physically haven't eaten, so... You know. <laughs> Here, I have a useful program for just the occasion. It's called Everything is Not All Peaches and Cream. It should help you with the focus on your mind uh, on different things. Would you have to start the program? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm sure nothing can go wrong by this. Are we all starving yet? No, we're just still hungry. Ah, uh, next day! What have we got now? Day nine. Oh, I think we're hungry now. There we go. So every nine days we're starving. That's pretty good. Actually, I think it'll be a little bit more than this now because I think it only goes up to hungry, which I, I'll probably only get like three or four days, but that's still really good. Success, Captain. Your culinary urges have been kept under control. We spent the afternoon talking about things other than food and the circles circled back to us uh, green merits of tomato soup. Uh, agree on the mer many merits of tomato. Oh, that's good. Now, we should probably focus on surviving the, the mission at hand, wouldn't you say? Remember, life is but a bowl of cherries. I'm not sure what it means, but I, but my program tell it, tells me it should make you feel better. Oh, you're not there yet. Well, that didn't go. Okay. Our course has not changed. Site soon to ETA T-2. I thought we were T-3. Oh, whatever. We created soup. I'm starving. Okay. Uh, soup for everybody then. Actually, soup for everyone, I think that's. You're starving as well, yeah, okay. Captain will soon be uh, passing an end to end to an object. Visuals should be able to admit it. There is. No, that's a speck of dirt on the screen, Arthur. The other uh, barely distinguishable dot. Yes, that one. 
that's an asteroid of fascinating composition. If we broke a piece of it off, it would serve us well. Uh, it will it'll also project energy. We could siphon its power using science instead of force. Okay, we'll do that. I am I'm a genius, aren't I? Hold on. I want to check. How good am I? Uh, Captain Astrobrute Intelligence. Oh, yeah, I'm a genius. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can recycle. Wait, hold on a second now. Yeah. Recycle the soup. But I think we we did make soup, didn't we? Uh, crafting complete. Yeah, yeah. So we'll recycle the soup now, and we fed everyone today. Let's go. Day ten. As we passed the uh, crystal asteroid, uh, the power harvesting was a go. Use uh, using the shuttle's outer system outer systems we sh uh, we siphoned a lot of energy from the rock it was wonderful one achievement basically we got a lot of energy from this rock and uh, we got some stuff from the soup okay now we got rock we can make an idol see that locked safe from the corner captain this is the captain safe it's meant for you you have the code of course no does not compute were you really appointed the captain of uh, by Astro Citizen Command. Uh, no, I wasn't. You commanded me, didn't you? You said, oh, uh, because of what you did, you're now co in command. That's what she said, isn't it? Uh, I will give you the benefit of the doubt for now, since you don't have the code, we'll try to over the force. Okay, well, uh, I'll do dexterity instead, because that's better. And let's go. The safe uh, that you uh, attempt to crack is still shut tight. Clumsy, clumsy, Captain. Better look next time. In fact, if it was so clumsy that you tripped over the safe and smashed... Oh, no. I'm hurt because of it. Okay. Uh, we've got a med kit, at least. <sighs> right, okay. Hold on, what did I make now today? I made the artifact, okay. So now we can get rid of the artifact. Captain, wake up. We're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Let me run quick scan. 96, 90, 98, 100% scan complete. I was right. A small rocky planet with no organic life forms. But there seems there's a lot of movement down there. Strange. My scanners detect some structures as well. Buildings or even cities. Uh, Captain, if you want to land on this planet safely, we'll have to fix up a small manufacture of the system. Uh, the small manufacture of our steering system. Since we're not able to turn at the moment, oh, and you will have to do it before we float away from the planet. Hurry. Well, you could have said this before, couldn't you? So we've got Cosmos 101, which is perfect, because it can basically be done in any setting. It's amazing. Yay, we did it. We landed on the planet. Way. We got, we got Robo Tufu. Or tuff, I don't know. Uh, you flipped your handbook through. To, to, you th flipped through your trusty handbook, looking for some kind of manual, or at least how to land a spaceship for dummies chapter. Oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, not to, not sure if it was your fast reading skills or pure luck, but you opened the book on the right page. Following the instructions, you uh, re reconnected some cables and steered the shuttle towards the ground. Uh, it was not a soft landing, nobody's doing great, uh, stunned, not even me. I'm shaken to my cause. Yes, all of them. <laughs> all of them. Your face had a pretty unpleasant close encounter with our common com communicator module, and at least one of these things is, use is useless now. Consider fixing it if you want to avoid radio silence in the future. What's next, Captain? Maybe you could use the information I found while scanning the environment. There are robotic... Uh, units not far from here. My scan. Uh, oh, the robots! Oh, I see. They're all robots. Uh, Captain uh, back. Uh, I don't know where I was. I'll just skip it. You can read it if you want. Uh, okay. Well, hold on. We had to go. Go away. Uh, await further instructions. Fix the shuttle's communication system. Okay, so yes, sir. 
Perfect. Uh, craft. I kind of want to craft another med kit, actually. Oh, what's this? Expedition system? <gasps> oh, that would be handy, that would. Craft a med kit, just in case. That would be very useful. What do you got here? Tourist information and village, okay. What's that? Grass. Asteroid, okay. I don't know what it actually does, that's the thing though. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the village. I know well, I haven't got a gas mask. That's the problem. You see, oh, that's not what I wanted. Thing is, is that I don't know how to. I need like things like gas masks, and I need gun. I need all this sort of stuff. I can either go to here. I know that the rock means I need a suit. The biohazard means I need a mask. Uh, I don't know what the power grass means. I think the power means what that I need a battery or something? Hazards? I don't know what that is. I'll do this because I can at least I can bring one of what I need. I haven't got a gas mask at all, which sucks. I can bring a can of soup. That's... I got a... Mm, I don't know. Okay, I'll send you off with that and nothing else because I can't do anything else. Unless I can make a mask. I can't, can I? No. I need, oh I need rock for that, oh okay. I can make a mask, just need some rock. Right, okay. We'll carry on making what we need to make. Actually, no, 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 it's no point at this point. I want to make a mask, I need to. We're going to start need to prepare uh, soup, I'll get rid of all my soup. I don't assume we have my, I must have eight, that'd be fine. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, we're sending her out there. That's all I can do for now. Hopefully she survives, otherwise we're screwed and there's no point in this, because I can't survive on my own. <sighs> I'm starving now as well, okay. Hello, world, yeah. All achieved, great success, the communicator attached. Consoles, we can get transmissions, that's perfect. I have to await contact from other people. Captain visits the horde of robotic penguins, the shuttle completely surrounded, this pretty hostile. Knives from regions there law law and penguins, Captain, the kind of cheap decorations, wealthy I can't I can't do anything. I haven't got any of them. I haven't got anything. I'm sorry. Let's get a mask. I can't do anything, I don't know what else I want to be to do, like I'd... I'm alive. Uh you didn't do anything to address the horde over the penguins that tried to shuttle to ignore them, uh, wrong, there's a little bounce, basically, uh, items, those two items were damaged, the lighter and the battery, and I gained a mask from that. My metal detector is showing a piece of uh, ancient robot technology buried a few paces away from the shuttle. I don't know how this is possible, but it's a coffee maker, a fancy one. Do robots even, ro robots, robots even drink coffee? Coffee makers buried, do you want me, yeah, I'll dig it up. Can't hurt, can it? I also want this communicator as well. Okay. Day 15. Right, we're low on supplies, which isn't good. You dug up the fancy coffee maker buried near the shuttle. It was still full of beans genetically engineered to meet robot tastes, uh, meaning the longest lasting and best tasting in the universe. They were still good. The machine brewed an amazing cup of coffee for your, uh, of your life. Sat around for hours, now the robots were able to uh, put food as well, and you're still starving, sir. So I need to eat something. I should stop forgetting to do that. Okay. Captain, something uh, got the drop on me. It appears it's some kind of droid. It's just activated a webbed sack on it. Back carries a uh, flotsam, metal scrap, bits of uh, plants and other uh, oddities, including something which looks like a skull. It's extended its grip, opened the airlock. It shall secure the airlock door, deny the robot entry. Um, yeah. I don't think anything good can come of that. I doubt it's going to come in here and be like, oh, here's some stuff, and then leave. That's not, that's not realistic at all. 
Uh, what do we got now? Do we make the soup, didn't we? Hold on, let me look now. Yeah, we made the soup, so we have to recycle the soup now. Soup, recycle, and go. Next day. Day 16. I hope she's going to be back soon, actually. Because I need supplies and fast. After I secured the airlock door, the creepy droid outside banged on the hull for a bit. Then binocular lens fled. It leaned back on the satchel of horrors, extending those tiny crooked arms, and began pushing against the door with incredible force. You spent all your strength holding the airlock door shut. Eventually, the bot gave up and blew away it came, but you were left famished from the ex. Oh no, okay. Okay, so I'm hungry now. The walls are closing, you are uh, growing paranoid, you have consciousness of reason. Invasive thoughts of going outside, even though you probably die. Someone has to tell you, Captain. You have a cabin. I mean, sh a shuttle fever. The good news is, uh, this is normal. Uh, claustrophobia is inevitable in this situation. The bad news, the only cure is to find a way to entertain yourself. What you do? Uh, soup. I can't have anything else. Uh, artifact. And do that. And let us end the day here. I swear, if she doesn't come back tomorrow, I'm sure she's dead. Well, she better not be. Okay, she's back. That's perfect. You use the soup to cure the shuttle's fever, but any benefit in France, assuming the dish looks metal, is cold, and the 17th century poet John Milton once said, The mind is its own place, and in itself can make heaven of hell. Where are we now? Uh, I'd say from the head now, but John has never li uh, lived in the age of space travel. He never saw the things you've seen. You had thoughts of stabbing John Milton, which is probably unhealthy. Oh, uh, uh, Megan returned to the nearby robot village. The space isn't big, just a few streets and a few dozen robot families at most. All of them, uh, all of them seem peaceful anyways. Morgan, say, Morgan, Megan state is a little fragile. She is famished and her mental state is questionable. Megan got lungs full of some that thick smoke coming from the heavy mirror could be bad news. Oh, well, of course. <sighs> right, that's fine. Gas Mac, the of the village, were kind enough to give Megan directions to the bomb craters. The robot statue was scattered with scattered little cans. Lovely got cans that I made tonight. Um, Captain, a hole appeared right into our shuttle overnight. It's probably a small vapor smoker. Well, it's not an immediate threat. I'd appreciate it if you made it stop. It smells foul. The noise is anything both offend my senses. Oh, I know what this is. Uh, how much have we got now, actually? We've got 61, 25. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Get rid of this artifact, because I don't want it. And then hopefully we can upgrade our uh, our systems, which would be very handy indeed. The noisy, smelly hole near the ship warranted research, and you and compared the illusion to the handbook to the hole, and tonight you shouldn't get distant. You should have kept your distance. That it was snoring a uh, chameleon razor tail occurred to you only after it woke up and took off. Seriously injuring you? Oh no. As it went, we'll finally enjoy some quiet, but you need uh, some patching up. Oh, this isn't good. What's this, anyways? Awake, kind of bring sock puppets to transmitted co coordinates. What? Oh, Captain, transmissions were received while we were asleep. I took the liberty of the code message to you. What I found is if I have coordinates lead into a place not far from you. Oh, a message also mentioned that you should bring sock puppets with you. Doesn't say why will you answer the call? I can't because I haven't got sock puppets. We can go in a few days when I do have a sock puppet. I also don't have a med kit, which is annoying, so I can't do much until then. Uh, you can't go out yet, can you? No, you're weak and hungry, and you are just normally hungry, are you? Yeah, you're hungry, you're hungry, and um, it'll be fine. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. When you, re uh, when you reach the lo uh, location from the transmitter's coordinates, you couldn't see some sneaking off in the dark by the big rock of little swishes. Oh, yeah, well, why didn't you go in the first place? Oh, whatever. Someone's left a board game outside your door. Robe Jumanji. Oh, okay. R Robe Jumanji. It's like Jumanji, but robots. Hey, look, the pieces are little robot explorers. Cute. But this is weird. I'm reading uh, a vast energy signature emitting from the board game board. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. My character is showing. No, this can't be right. Uh, the gem in the middle of the game board contains uh, a micro universe. Be careful, Captain. Do you want to play? Oh, of course. We can, we can be like. We can be the actual Jumanji. That'd be great. That would. Uh, you're hungry and you're hungry. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. 
We'll have to wait till she's not weak anymore. Also, as well, we're going to need to get this sock puppet thing as well. Okay, day 20. Uh, you choose the game pieces of robot with a tan, safari, and a mon monocle, then sat down to play uh, Robe Jumanji. As soon as you touch the board, the shuttle ship visions full of the light. Uh, it wasn't ordinary board games happening that contained advanced technology with the power of reality. The game chose its player and refuses to. Wait, what? why did I minus 20? Fusing as. It does fail in its trial. Oh, I got minus 20 rock. That's not fair. How oh, stupid that is, okay. Attention, Captain, I'm detecting leaking the radio cooling system. In case you're wondering, that's not good. I got gas mask. mask. Oh, gas mask. It's gas mask. It's fine. Can I upgrade the system? I can. Oh, I could also upgrade the expedition system. What does it do, though? That's what I want to know. I'll do this because it might be better. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, excuse me. Oh wait, does she need a med kit? Oh, we both need a med kit, do we? Oh, that's not good. Oh no, I should Oh. Never mind, we're doing that. Okay. <sighs> right, okay. I can't determine if you actually read the fix a reactor astronaut. Oh, you just made a random motion trying to see anything through the mask. But the leak is no more. You will be happy to hear one has in, uh, one he to hear no one has inhaled any of the coolant vapor. Well done, Captain. You remain very mentally stable. You are still hungry as a wolf. La la la. Okay, now I'm starving, and she's also starving. Okay, everybody get soup. Can you hear that, Captain? It sounds like mosquitoes. It is mosquitoes. See, there's one. See, there's one. Get it? No way. They aren't ordinary insects. They are robot construct con constructs. Extraordinary. They are almost as annoying as the real thing, but at least they don't seem to be into sucking blood. We should probably get rid of them anyway, just in case they take an interest in you. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. And pull the lever. Day 22! Lovely. Right, okay. You found a way to deal with the swarm of robots. Uh, mosquitoes barging out the shuttle. You donned your armor pro uh, provoked them into attacking you, uh, and with a dull with a ping, one by one the insects broke their pointy mouths. Battered and probably quite frustrated, they left the shuttle. None have been spotted since. They must have sent a signal to the mosquitoes to avoid this area. Good riddance. Yay! Captain, there has been a, a constant interference in our comms of late. Uh, like a musical note's playing with it, it's becoming annoying. You should think about it, but it might just stop if you're ignoring it. Should we... Uh, Emmet. Uh, weak and hungry, and weak and hungry. Okay. Right. So, I think I'm going to leave this here. Um, I'm going to leave this for next time, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, come back to see part two. It should be up very, very shortly after the f the, this part has been released. So, uh, I'll see you in a second.